All right, time for another review. I just picked up the blue ice snowball the other day, like yesterday. And to properly review this, I'm not, I thought I'd you better do it on my phone instead of through my computer because I just didn't see how I could do both. But it's a very, it's a great mic. I mean, I only just got it yesterday, but as you can see, it's, the mic itself is pretty large and it screws into the bottom. But this stand is not extendable, which I know the the regular blue ice has, I think, which is so it's pretty slow down on the ground, so you need to bend down a little bit more to speak into it, but you don't need to speak directly into it. But it plugs in easily to the USB and it just works. There's no uh it should just work no problem, so so it plugs in and it just kind of works. Um, it has a rotating on the bottom. You can rotate it. Uh, one thing is like, I don't know, you can rotate it down a lot, but I don't know why you'd want to do that. Because it doesn't rotate up that much. It only rotates up that high. But you can unscrew this and attach it to uh, an extendable arm, which I'm definitely going to get. I'm going to like attach it over here maybe to my little side table and then have it come over so I can just speak into it without having to like I don't know I want to record one video with it so far so I don't know if it's like I want to record one video with it and I didn't do any audio editing I just recorded it and it basically just sounded louder because I was forever just using the built-in mic on my computer and that's not very good obviously so it definitely sounds better I guess there could be some post-processing I could do with it, but I try not to, I, I try to keep my video editing down really easy. Like I just use Screencast-O-Matic. See, this is my computer here, and that's what Screencast-O-Matic looks like. You know, you just hit record, and it'll start recording some things, and then, and then that's it. You can just, you know, talk into the mic, and then play it back, whatever, just to see how it sounds. I don't know, the sound didn't come out just then, but I don't know what's going on. These things are are picky, that's the problem. Like, I actually bought one of these before, a black one from Best Buy, and I plugged it in and just didn't work, nothing worked, I couldn't figure it out, I couldn't, knew if there was a driver I needed to install, or I'd try reinstalling the audio, audio drivers, and I tried a bunch of stuff, and just wouldn't work, so I brought it back, but then I had like, reformatted my laptop and I thought you know it's still the only it's still the cheapest beginner mic out there and I really wanted a good one so I bought it again at Staples and this time it works so I don't know I kind of had a feeling that if I had just reformatted my computer things that might not work before would work better or again and this did so but just I'm sure there's like post-processing I could do more with the audio but I only just use Screencast-O-Matic for all my editing because as soon as the video's been caps, captured on screen, I can just do some quick editing in here and it's done. Uh, and it also helps showing you where like the audio, there's gaps and stuff. But that's another video. This is a review of this. So I've only had it for a day. So not always the best to review something immediately, but I mean, I'm happy enough with it for, for 70 bucks. This is kind of the standard beginner you mic for YouTubers or podcasters or whatever. I probably spoke too close in to the first time I used it. Because I don't think... He, I have my mouth pretty close. But even that whole thing of like it should be a fist length away. It should even be more than that. Maybe two fists. I don't know. But it's very simple to use and I like it. Um, I'm looking forward to attaching this to an, an arm so I can just kind of... I don't want to leave it on my table here all the time. I can just push it over here and then put, move it over when I need it. And eventually I'll get a better actual PC to do better editing. But yeah, it's a good mic. It's definitely for someone who's a beginner, I don't know. I mean, to say it's the best beginner, I don't know. But for the price, it's pretty good. I mean, if you got it on sale, it'd be even better. 
But if you had the money, the Yeti would be obviously the better choice. And now I believe there's a Mini Yeti as well. But Blue, it's a good name for, for home uh, USB mics. They have good reputation and all their mics are very well reviewed. If you look up any of them, they'll have tons of five-star reviews. And right now I'd give this one about a four. Because uh, I don't know, because sometimes foresee that it might just not work sometimes when I plug it in for no reason it'll just do that because you know what computers are like but that's a different thing I just want to do kind of a short early review of the Blue Ice Snowball it's a great mic and as you can see it's called Snowball for a reason Ooh, one big ball uh, that's my little review for now I'm going to upload this and do a little editing to it and then that'll be it thanks